About a year ago Setplink uploaded a video containing space invaders in Minecraft. But it was fake and I was kinda disappointed. So I made one myself. And I must say, the results are pretty cool. There's a, quite a lot of stuff happening behind the scenes. But I'll try to show you as much as possible. We'll start at the start button. It sets a redstone block right over here. This command block sets the block back to air, so you get a short pulse. This pulse will go over here, and this block is currently set to air, but it will be set to redstone wire. That's done by this command. So, now this pulse will travel this way. All these command blocks over here will be powered, and what they do, they all summon minecarts with command blocks. They're spawned just inside the wool block, so they won't fall down. Then there's also this giant clock. All these command blocks move the minecarts. The ones with the black wool above them will move the minecarts to the right, the white ones to the left, and the red ones will move them down. But there's a problem. Once the pulse gets back over here, all the cards will be spawned again. So that's what this command block is for. That removes the redstone wire once the minecarts are spawned. So they won't spawn again. Now about the minecart. This command block summons the minecart, and these clocks underneath the pressure plates move the minecarts. This command block moves it to the left, and this one to the right. And this is why the enemy is actually a command block minecart, not a regular minecart. That's to prevent these command blocks from moving the wrong minecarts. Okay, so we've got our moving minecart now, but it doesn't shoot yet. That's what this thing is for. This command block sets a block to redstone wire, and this one sets it back to air. So when you step on the pressure plate, this block turns into redstone wire, and when you step off it, it will turn back to air. And what that basically does, it makes sure these command blocks will be powered. These two rows of command blocks will set this row of blocks to air and comparators. So only when you stand on the pressure plate, comparators will appear and disappear. This row of command blocks tests if there is a minecart nearby, so when the minecart is over here, this comparator will be powered, while actually two will be powered. Those will power these command blocks, firing an arrow upwards. The arrows have a custom damage, so they can break the command block cards. And those are the most important things really. There's one more thing. When you press the stop button, this entire clock will be removed and replaced again. I used Setplink's set block structure filter for that. This way the clock just turns off when you press the stop button. And that's it. If you want to download this world, there's a download link in the description. When you win or lose the game, there will also happen something really special. So check it out. Or not, not actually, I mean, it's, it's not that special really.